Thank you very much for lunch. You're more than welcome. Down Stilton and broccoli soup. Where'd you get them trainers from? Oh, these are some other ones. They're not them ones that I uh, stole out here the other day. These are just the uh, Adidas ones. Kids are us. What? <laughs> I look like some I've had off me mirroring care. You're only little ones. Size 8 added off uh, Los Angeles then. Didn't you have these at school or were you a goaler man? No, I had Adidas Samba. Adidas Samba? They're football hooligan trainers then, then. I've never been a football league. Have you still got them Elise ones? Elise, yeah. Still got them? Yeah. They're still running strong. Yeah, yeah. They're still running um, strong. So what do I owe this pleasure today then? Uh, big, big rush. What do you want? Other way round. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I'd come and see you. Uh, You're a man of cele celebrity now. Am I? So, it's still nice that you still come and talk to me now. You're, you know, your face. A face, am I? Yeah, you're a face, yeah, not Russ. Well, I'm Frank, Fri Frank Crunchy, it's Friday. <laughs> right, last Saturday then. We're going back to last Saturday. You were obviously in uh, Macau. Macau at the IBF convention. Did you watch the uh, Sky Sports boxing? I only saw um, highlights because we were, what time in the, uh, the morning was that? We was, it was about, what time would it be? It was really, really early in the morning anyway, wasn't it? So I didn't get to see it and I couldn't get it on a, a platform over there. But anyway, I saw the highlights obviously and I seen the build up and I seen the aftermath of it. What did you think? Um, it was a shock obviously, I think it was a Tyson Douglas moment, wasn't it? But <laughs> the one thing that made it a lot worse is that Buster Douglas were in good shape and you've got somebody there who looks like anything bar a, a heavyweight champion. Mm. Um, he couldn't cope with the hand speed, but I don't think he's mentally. There's something in his preparation. He didn't either mentally prepare, uh, and maybe he's lost something. Where we'll, we'll I never get back, he's definitely lost that aura of invincibility. Of yeah. invincibility. Uh, so he's, he's, he'll never get that back. Um, he's, he's, he's one big moment. He said he really enjoyed it going over to Madison Square Gardens and this that, and the other. And, and he's been very humble in defeat. Um, but for me, it should never have happened. And what have I been saying to you all this time? Every saying, "Ah, Joshua will chin Tyson. Joshua, will, Joshua's the best by far, the best." I said to you and other people that Joshua cannot count himself as the best now because them two other elite fighters in Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, they fought each other, so they're in front. Mm. For him to catch up or being on the same level, he's got to fight one of them. Can you say Ruiz is in front now, wouldn't you? Um, well, he's beat yeah, him, because, he? because he's beat him, yeah. But um, so, but I think odds on like they won't take him lightly, and I, and I think uh, Tyson does a number on him, and I think uh, I think Deontay Wilder does a number on him. On Joshua? No, on, on uh, the on Ruiz. Ruiz, yeah. So, uh, but obviously he's got this. With the rematch, I saw a thing that they want it to be in UK, but they said that they're not opposed, that it's somewhere, somewhere else. You're the champ now. You're, you're the guy that has all the belts. Can you go in and say, I don't want it in the UK. I want it back in the United States, or I want it in Mexico. Like, Are you able to do that, and do you think you are going to want to do that? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That's a no I, comment? <laughs> I, I would love it to be here in the United States or in Mexico, you know, but... Hey, it all depends what, what the team and what we negotiate. You know, if they want me to go over there, they got to give me $50 million. I can't wear this one out, Ross. He's got his rematch clause, but now he's saying he's demanding $40 million or something. $50 million. So how can the he... The rematch clause can't be that concrete. So how oh, can he wrong. command that if he's got a rematch clause? Uh, but is there something in that rematch clause or something not in that rematch clause that allows him to command or demand $40 million? $50 million, he said. All right, $50 million. Right, that's on YouTube if you go and look. It is 50, will not it? Yeah, 50. That suggests that... They've been it's not watertight. It's not watertight and it's, they've, not been, um, they've been a bit complacent. in Very complacent. In the and also, if you noticed, 
Within nine seconds of Eddie Hearn's interview in the ring, he triggered the rematch straight away. And in the four minutes, 58 seconds interview on IFL, he mentioned it 17 times, the word rematch, and he's still in America now, sorting the rematch. Is it? They are frightened to death, in my honest opinion, because they know that they are now on the outside looking in. Ooh. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> So, I'm not saying that you're gloating like I am gloating. I'm not gloating because I want to see big fights against big personalities. We're not, not going to say that he's had Jamie McDonnell and David Allen and other various, and we'll see the same three fighters that no, you want. Not, yeah, we're not talking course. about that, are we, now? Mm. Look, yeah, I think you're winding me up a bit, but the, uh, <laughs> the, what do you call it? I'm a purist as well. Yeah, I don't like yeah. some of the politics in boxing, yeah, some yeah. of the strokes mm. that pull, but. The, um, as a boxing purist, I want to see Joshua still undefeated fighting Tyson Fury undefeated or Deontay Wilder undefeated because I want to see big events. It's not just the fight, it's the event, the whole thing about it, the build up to it. Uh, and then obviously the, the, the 12 rounds, the, you know what I mean? So that, that's where I want to, he's lost that now, he's lost a lot of that. Now yeah, he can come back like Lennox Lewis did, mm. um, but it's... It's lost a bit, hasn't it? Lost yeah, it's lost a bit. Lennox Lewis lost a bit when he got beat, though, didn't he? Did he? He lost yeah. that little bit of invincibility, didn't he? I think so. He did, and, and that's what Joshua's lost. Uh, mm. But it, it's, it's still up there. He's got to come back, and, he, and he's got to beat Royce. Now, uh, if I were a betting man, I'd put me house on him fighting, and if they don't, they're making a mistake. He's got to fight in London. Yeah. Because I think I've done an article in, is it in Boxing Monthly. Yeah, stuff? Boxing Monthly, yeah. I had Clinton Woods, arguably one of the toughest fighters, uh, you know, we've produced in this country, you know, as, as, as team mm. tough. But went abroad, didn't handle it very well. Fought in America three times, lost three times for world titles. So, but fight him three fights back here, he's not going to beat Roy Jones, but I believe he'd beat the other two, Tarver. And, and wow. he can make excuses why oh he got a bad back and he got this and he got that. He didn't travel well. Yeah. Tavares Cloud never travel well. He beats them two here. So I'm getting at Joshua. I think he'll have you know he'll have slightly different preparation mentally and physically. I'm not saying physically, but mentally I think he'll be in a better place. It's all right saying I did everything fantastic at training camp. He's still fighting. He's had a mix of opponents and he's. A load to this, he's fought, he's, 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 he's had different opponents offered to him. So, mentally, you know what boxing is, it's like the people say, you know, it's 80% of it. Yeah, the physical bit where you're road, you know, you're doing your road work, and you're doing everything, you're sparring, everything, but preparation, your conditioning. But mentally, was he prepared for what he was about to face, and did he, did he take him line, and he started to get up then, and, and uh, you know, while, while Joshua were punching, he were punching back. And he's got quite decent hand speed, but obviously he didn't, he didn't hold a shot very well, did he, Joshua? No. Well, let me, let me just uh, bring, throw this into the equation, right? Mm. He's had nine pay-per-view fights, Joshua. Yeah. Gillian White, we both agree you were a novice, don't we, at the time? Yeah. Coming off a two-year ban. Yeah. Charlie Martin, what a gift, wasn't he? I, I backed Dylan White as an outsider to beat Joshua that Never. Night. I did, I thought. He nearly pulled it off as well, didn't I he? I thought. Show and everybody said, I'd be a walk over this, and I thought, that Dylan White, I wish he'd have had a couple more fights. This is what I said to people I knew who were around him. He could just do it one stroke, two more fights before he has the Joshua fight. And now look at him. Uh, and then he got a chance, and, uh, and he almost pulled it off. And now, look how good he is now with, with Mark Tibbs and yeah, Mark Tibbs. Tibbs. They've done well with him, haven't well, they? Well, he's, he's around proper people there, mm. isn't he? Mark and, and Jimmy, they, they, they're class acts and they just get on with the business, they don't get phased by you anything. You don't see them in interviews, do you? No, they do. They not they TV do. trainers, are they, Dan? No, they, but they're, pro they're proper. I call them yeah. you know, proper, not just there for the limelight, they're just proper boxing people. And uh, for me, they, they, they're some of the genuine, most genuine people in boxing. Yeah. They have been for years. Well, when I go through that nine, them nine people, I look at Dillian, novice, wasn't ready. He's got him a bit early, didn't they? Then I look at Charlie Martin with a gift, wasn't he? He got Tyson's belt through the back door, didn't That's he? That's a lovely gift. Brazil, what a gift, turned pro at 28. Eric Molina, a part-time school teacher. Vladimir in his 42nd year, life and death. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Parker so, and Takamore, 
they were the referee got involved in them fights and messed them up. Then we were to prevent. He didn't have it all his own. We were tackling. We were no, he didn't. Went, went to your substitute as well. Yeah, he was late sub twelve days notice for pool left. And then we've got uh, Povetkin in his 40th year. And he didn't have it his own way for the first few rounds with him, did he? It's, it's not a Lennox Lewis CV or anything no, like that. No, it isn't. Is it? And, then you, and then you scratch the CVC even more, and we've got spitting gum it. shields out when he's been tired to get that breather. And then I'm going to come to my party piece now. The final stoppage against Ruiz, I've stopped the clock, and this is going to be slotted into this where we're speaking now. 1 minute 59, he hits the deck. It's waved off at 1 minute 34. He had no gum shield in his mouth. That's 25 seconds to stop that fight. And he walked off to a corner away from the referee. He had no gum shield. I've heard on a podcast, not a podcast, a forum, that the referee were like, well, he didn't even have gum shield in his mouth. So that would have been another 15 seconds to find it, give him a crack, and he'd have wanted to dip it in water twice. And then that's a 40 second break, isn't it? He's had too much of that with them referees in England. And I think the referee just went, you know what? It's been down four times. It should have been stopped after the third one, shouldn't it, really? You might have got some of it. Of course I've got some. I've so, got it on tape. So, what's 25 your point? seconds. He's got away with it. He's had long counts. He had so, long, yeah. so, where does he go from here? Where he goes from here is he has an interim, in my opinion. If he's our fighter, he has an interim to get his confidence back. Like you, it. He needs a, a, couple, a couple of knockovers before he fights that kid because I got it wrong about Ruiz. We backed him to, to get beat, didn't we? Nick? Well, I think I'm, we're, not, we're, not, we're not on a zone because I, yeah. I thought we were going to try and make a statement like One round one or two or something, yeah. yeah. We all, everybody did, didn't we? all got it wrong looking at him. Now, take the physiques away from them and scrape their CVs down to bare metal to say Ru 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 Ruiz beat Parker. And Joshua, well, there's a question mark against every win, isn't there, that he's had? Yeah. He's had it all his own way in nine pay-per-views from the Dillian White, losing it, well, he got rocked and the Dillian got injured, to prevent him being an old man in his last fight before Fruiz. Vladimir were old as ill, was life and death. 18 months on settee. 69 fight. Vladimir as well. So he's had it all his own way. And because they've not got it the wrong way now, they're on outside looking in. They've upset a lot of people then. Yeah, they have, but like, um, they should still have a level of control with this uh, Con with rematch. this rematch clause. Uh, otherwise, they aren't. And that machine of matchroom, I'm sure, should be professional enough to have got it tied up. But you know, things coming out like this 50 mil, uh, he wants 50 mil, is is uh, it's a bit uh, worrying if they yeah. haven't, if they haven't got it, you know, really yeah. to tie. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, yeah. Why ain't it signed already? Are they going to let it them belts be. come to the UK? Yeah, because if it's in the rematch, he's still in control. He's signed an option with him, so really, for this next option, he might have got two options, but I'd have thought he got one option, a rematch clause, which makes him, Ruiz, in, in effect, John Ruiz. Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz, I mean. Uh, that was John Ruiz. Who oh, fought Roy David Day when they were 30 or 39, yeah. Who yeah. oh, 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 Roy Jones beat. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Andy Ruiz is uh, an actual, if they've done it right, and Eddie Earns Fiser at this moment in time. Yeah, yeah, probably got options on him, yeah. Mm. But he's an Al Heyman fighter we're hearing, and he's saying yeah, I call the shot. But, no, but if, if, if they've done the job right, he's, a, he's an Eddie Earns fighter. Yeah, for one, one fight or two fights, yeah. Depending on what the contract says, yeah. Well, didn't he have an option if he, lo if he lost, they were going to bring him back again in a Sky fight? And probably the fight Dillian White or something. He seems oh, to get. Yeah, he seems to get. No, no need to have there. Yeah. It's, it's only if you're in. If you've got the champion, you've got something to lose. That's when you want an option where you go. Well, if you lose, I bring him back, and then I can fight a, a rematch. So, uh, I wouldn't have thought they, they were going to do that, but look, they might have done it. Depends if Al Heyman had asked for that for Ruiz. They might just think it's an easy fight now, Joshua. I mean, does it even warrant a rematch with a good hiding like that then? If it's if it's in, if it's in contract, yeah, yeah. But after a good hiding like that, come on. Bute got a good hiding. He had a rematch clause. Did Tyson come af come back after a good hiding he got from Buster Douglas? No, he went to jail, didn't he? But did he come back? He came back, yeah, about six years later and won belt, didn't he? So, we never fought Buster Douglas again, did he? 
Did Lennox Lewis get a good hiding against uh, Rackman and Rackman first, one it then um, McCall. McCall. Yeah, but he had to wait, didn't he? For one of them, I'm not sure. You wait, McCall two and a half years. I'm not sure about the Raman. There was one where he got rematched straight away with that Rackman. That Rackman Raman, yeah. The McCall one, he had to wait, so, didn't he? So, come on, Russ. Yeah, maybe maybe they're gonna have rematch, but I just think they're not stop. gonna let them belts come to England. Stop slagging AJ off completely. Come on. I'm not slagging them off. I'm just Matty. All right, AJ is great. Be humble. Now, now you're being. Now you're being. What's the word? Is he? Facetious. Facetious. How do you spell that then? Begins with fur. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to... Uh, listen, there's a lot of people kicking a man when they're down. I mean, Eddie Hearn wouldn't do that, would he? Kick anybody when they're down. It's not like Eddie Hearn, that is Look, it. they've got this elitism about them, but... No, they've, they've been riding high. And, you know, you get this thing where you're untouchable sometimes, and sometimes things come back to bite you in the backside, and... But we're all human beings, and um, we get complacent. That's why. That's why sometimes people get caught in whatever industry. <laughs> yeah. at. That's why prisons are full. People get caught through being complacent, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah but yeah. now Eddie's got to be complacent. I think maybe he's got his golden goose, and he, he didn't see this coming. And I don't think. Uh, if they'd have, I'd have liked to see the camera on his face. Oh, right I've got that on my phone. Yeah, I've got so, it. Yeah, yeah. But, well, He's a <laughs> and his wife like that. Was she? After uh, first knock. Oh, I can't go kind of shopping next week. Um, so they took it well, haven't they? they? Took it well, haven't they? He's walking around with a t-shirt on. Listen, he's, he's he's all right. And and they're gonna play a game, aren't they? They'll keep him boxing while everybody can. He's got three fights left on his Sky Deal. He's got. Dylan White, he's got still one or two, I mean he's got a conveyor belt from Sheffield Institute of Sport which is paid for from public money. And this is the uh, this is what old Fisheyes has just brought up in his interview yesterday. Frank Warren, sorry. What's he say? He's said it's a right liberty, what's going on down there with public taxpayers' money. He listens to what I say him. Frank. We've been saying that for three years, haven't we? Four years. But Frank, yeah, if Frank uh, knows what's going on down, we yeah, all know what's going on. We all know, but like, he goes, ah, oh yeah, that's right. But it's true, he's got it, it's monopolies. It's almost monopolies, he's got a monopoly. Do we think it's right that, that McCracken's in there, he's the director, and he'll be saying, Eddie, he's going to do well in pros, him, the and Mrs. Training, so don't sign him, sign him. They're going to get first picks, aren't they? It's a natural conveyable, and it's paid for, and, it, and it's created through public money. And they've got Joshua's managing fighters, who are bringing their trainers and the trainers fighters there so they've got Boatsy down here they've got uh, Akoli down there with their trainers and their other fighters, These the trainers are the fighters it's like a professional gym down there now, it's all wrong it's for amateurs should be but should be but in, and the facilities listen, down there, you know yourself, the whole don't system, you? look the country's not run properly so like, you know, the whole system's wrong isn't it? Mm. public money gets abused all yeah. the way through, through everything, through NHS, through sport now, through politicians, it's all abuse and it's all public taxpayers' money mm. what gets used to create create uh, these um, monopolies mm. and and and, uh, and carrying carryings on for, like I said, politicians and people mm. in public job BBC. They're all on good, fantastic wages, and you know. These MPs that get paid to make mistakes. If we if we make a mistake, we don't get paid. They get m mistakes and wasting public money, and they get paid. Well, they've got public money generating and creating potential champions, pedigree kids, mm. and then all of a sudden, oh yeah, you can have them. Sky, thank you very much. Maestro, thank you very much. And they're still using that public money funded facility. They've got oxygen tanks. They've got all the best facilities, scientific facilities in the best in the world or as good as which is getting which has created and developed the UK into the the boxing nation of the world mm. and we're the best in the world and look at the Olympics. They've got the pick of it, they've got the and they've got the pick. So mm. Warren's right, it, it, it's true but I've been saying it for a long time, haven't I? Mm. Yeah. I mean the being up there now, Eddie Hearn's been ten year in game, McCracken's been up there ten year and uh, They've had pick, haven't they? They've had a good run up there. So, mm -hmm. right. So, other than that, quick plug about the show. Uh, how's Josh Whale, Tommy Frank show coming on? 
Yep, good. They both matched right? up. Yep. So they matched up. Uh, Commonwealth title for Tommy Frank. Commonwealth uh, eliminator for Josh Whale. At featherweight. Yeah, we've we've added uh, Tyrone Nurse to the show. We've got Tyrone the, Nurse. Got the kids coming through like Keenan and Kane and Sal. Lim Rose uh, fighters. Yeah. Uh, uh, Matthew Hines got a kid coming on the show called Irvin Mango, Magno. Uh, Mike Sheenfield's got a couple of kids on there. So he's, Matthew Hines has got one of his on, hasn't he? That's what I just said, Matt. Yeah, yeah, Matthew, Matthew, yeah. I got on really well with Matt. Um, yeah, so I'm right, looking man, forward yeah. to working with him again. So, yeah, we're, we're um, the show's going to be a smashing show. I think he's 9 or 10 fights on. Mm. It's on free sport. We'll give Terry, Terry Chaffin the Armour a shout out. Dennis from London, our friend. I don't tell. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> You're too good at that. You've yeah, got that a few of them, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's July the 5th, Ponds Ford, 7pm doors open, and it's on Free Sports TV. Yeah. What's the channel for that then? 195 on Freeview. Sky. Freeview. And 422 on Sky. 422 on Sky. Platform. And that's free to air. Free to air. Free to air. There's no, uh, no pay per views. Uh, over this end of the country, is there? No, no, we try and keep it free. I mean, obviously, mm. look, if I got Joshua, I got Dylan White, obviously, they're where they are now because of what the market that we're in. They demand pay per view, so you have to try and get it for them. It's not no. from a purist point of view, some of the fights I don't think they justify, excuse me, um, the pay per view status. But you know, if, if their market's there, you're going to try and get them for them. Yeah. Um, and, and as a promoter, you're trying the best that you can and get the kids the best money that you can. I mean, you don't agree with some of these fights on pay-per-view, but no. would we not do them? Yeah, we'd have to. Yeah, we would, wouldn't we? We'd have we to. Would. We'd have to, but um, well, I'd, rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather the fights be on ITV and BBC where you got all the old tradition, but we're not going to gen generate the money that they demand now. Mm. Gillian White Rivers, uh, going from Audley Harrison, David Hay, WBA title fight to the Dillian White Rivers non title fight is the 29th pay per view in the Eddie Hearn era on Sky. So, alright, so I think we'll wrap that up then, Nick. Yeah, right, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport. And to, for those people that comment about Dennis looking like a farmer in his flat cap hat. hat yeah, he looks like some off Emmerdale Farm, doesn't he? Only thing missing is a green uh, Range Rover. <laughs> Listen, Brad Pitt had one of these on. Ain't snap. He wears them regular. <laughs> so, oh. and, and he's not done so bad, has he? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Pork is the future. <laughs>